Stage 10. Okay, this is 10-1. Rocket blast off, traveling 15 meters per second. Press run to see this word problem take looks like an animation. All right, so all I have to do is hit run. And it's showing me every second he's going up 15 meters. That's a pretty easy problem. So problem number two here, rocket blasts off, traveling 15 meters per second. Write a contract, uh, rocket height that takes the number of seconds that have passed since the rocket took off and produces the rocket height at that same value. So the title of this is going to be rocket height. And my domain is going to be a number. So I'm going to have a number for a domain and a number for an answer. Now, 10.3, in the last puzzle, you wrote a contract for rocket height that states the range of a number, domain of number. So we punch in a number. And it should return the height at 15 meters per second after a given number of seconds. Now let's write an example of this. So we're just doing an example. So it's, and they want it to be three seconds. So I'm doing three times 15. And it gives me 45, which is the answer. Problem number four here. Now it's telling me, let's do another example. What would the rocket height be after 30 seconds? Well, I've got to drag this over here. And it's going to be 30 seconds, and it was 15 meters per second, so I should be set with that. And it's going to show me the calculations, 450 meters. Now that we have uh, that done, they say here that they've started a design recipe for rocket height. So here it is, rocket height. Using the contract and examples you just wrote, complete the function definition for rocket height, and then run the animation. So I'm going to click Edit here. Rocket Height. Yep, I did this. And here's an example. You know, I did this for an example. And here's an example. So what would my rocket height be? Well, it's times 15, right? So I'm going to pick numbers. I'm going to pick times. Place that in here. It's times 15, like each example. And the number of seconds is just going to go here. So that should be working like that. Oh, I didn't check I didn't check to see that my uh, two examples uh, worked or matched the definition but if it didn't I would be having problems here and I'm not so we're good now that we can update a function we want our rocket to move quicker so we want to update the pur purpose statement examples and functions of the rocket so it's going 40 meters per second so I'm looking here inside uh, my contract, rocket height, seconds, produces a number. Given a number, the rocket height after, oh, 40 seconds. 40 meters per second, not 40 seconds. So if the rocket height was, I don't know, or the number of seconds was 15, I would be doing, oh, i got to get this here, 15 times 40. So I'm going to put times 40 here. And this is going to be the same for the other thing. So I'm going to do the control C, control V thing, because I know I'm going to use this three times. And the last time it's going to be seconds, right? So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to pick a number. Oh, I got 15 here. I do this example first. So 15, 15, because whatever I punch in here gets punched in over here, right? So test it, matches my definition. Test it. Matches my definition. I like my way my definition looks. It's times 40, not times 15, so we change that. And so now we should run this, and he should move a little bit faster. Yep, now he's going up faster this time. So now some real quick questions in 10. I think they have four questions here. Which function describes a rocket that reaches... 24 meters after 2 seconds, 60 meters after 5, 108 after 9. Well, this would be going 12 meters per second. 2 times 12 is 24. 
Uh, 5 times 12 is 60. 9 times 12 is 108. So it's going 2 seconds times 12. There we go. Which function describes the, what the rocket reaches? 4 meters in 2 seconds, 16 meters in 4, 256 in 16. So this seems like seconds. 2 times 2 gives me 4, but 2 times 4 gives me 8. 4 times 4 gives me 16. And I'll bet you 16 times 16 gives you 256. So it's the rocket height is not times 2. It's not times 4. It's not times 16. It's times itself. Seconds times itself. Which function describes the rocket that reaches 47 meters in 5 seconds, 97 and 10, and 50? Well, let's see. Five seconds. This is just three short of 10 meters per second. And this is three short of 10 meters per second. So it's three short of 10 meters per second, 10 times, or I'm sorry, seconds times 10 minus three. That's the one I'm looking for. So on this last one, he just wants you to, you know, mess up a little bit and see if you'd like to change something. And, you know, I went in here and changed it so it's 200 meters per second, which would kill your average human being just starting off that fast. But let's just see what happens with my guy here at 200 meters per second. Boom, and he's off the screen. I mean, he's, he's gone. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, that's it for stage 10.